Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is the voice of Obune Achinemi, aka Keko Designs, right? So, um, in this amazing video, we're going to be looking at top 10 graphic design tips for beginners, okay? Like, we're going to be looking at the 10 game changing graphic design tips for beginners. And if you're a beginner, right? If you're a beginner, like you're looking at to start out in graphic design industry, this is the very, um, I, I believe this should be one of the tips or one of the basic videos you need okay and um if you're an intermediate designer or someone who's already good i believe you pick one or two things from this video so stick with me and let's go so um the first um, point i have is um choose a focal point like these tips you're going to be seeing in these videos, you uh, I won't bet that you've not seen it anywhere, okay? You might probably come across a few of them, but not everything that I'm going to be showing here. So stick with me, don't go anywhere. Alright, um, so I think I need, I, need to see I need to say this also at this point. If you're new to this YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, alright? Or should I go, like, should I go rock? Okay, let me do it this way. If you like, don't like. If you like, don't subscribe. If you like, don't comment. That's <laughs> um, but Sammy White, okay, one of the top, if not the top, graphic designer in Nigeria, okay. You know, like Chris Du is the is the biggest graphic designer we know um, al al around the globe, okay. While Sammy White is the biggest designer in Nigeria. That's from my own point of view. Okay, so let's continue. I said the first thing you need to um, always consider as a beginner in graphic design or like in graphic design generally um you should always choose a focal point okay choosing the focal points just like i've explained on this design already means selecting one main element or message in your design that you want to stand out okay you can use contrast size or positioning to draw the viewer's attention to the specific elements right so now from this design you can see that my focal point is this top 10 graphic design tips for beginners okay i i, I made the size so big like so big if you look at this like comment share stuff blah 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 you might not really look at it at a glance like you might not really see it at a glance okay so this is my focal point for this design okay so um yeah let's continue the second point i have is choose contrasting colors okay pure light text with a dark background or vice versa for better readability and clarity okay so if you want your message to be easily conveyed if you want your audience to see uh, your message properly you need to consider using um, a very light um, text okay just like from this one you can see that my text here sorry you can see that my text here is very is um, I use the white color like a bright color not just not necessarily white you can use another shade of blue probably no shade another tint rather you might not really understand these design terms but then let's continue um, I used uh, you, you can use another tint of another you can use a tint of another color you can see can you see that red this is a brighter red it can also be used on this um, on this design okay I can still choose to use this red color for this text okay and then when I came to my, when my background when I switched my background to white I, I switched my color also to black okay take for instance if this text like color of this text is um white will you be able to see what i i wrote here like can you see will you be able to see what i wrote here nope you won't i bet you can't even if you have eagle's eyes did i see that you might you might really see it i don't know i don't know <laughs> all right so um the third point i have is stick to two fonts okay not really font this time per se but then um two types that's what we call it generally in, um, in graphic designing we have difference between fonts and typeface okay so uh sticking to them um, sticking to two typeface really help um your design okay it will limit your design to just try as much as possible to limit your design to just two typeface two type for a clean and cohesive look okay so um you might as well i think i need to balance things up you might choose to um to be creative around the whole thing but then try as much as possible to use fonts that um are very close like font that uh, will not be easily distinguished okay so um so um i think i used three fonts here i i used um a signature font here i used um go bold yep i used go bold for these graphic design tips for beginners and then i used creator display for keko designs and um like comment share can you see okay yeah i also use creator display 
for um, this 10 game changing graph, 10 game changing graphic design tips for beginners. So try as much as possible to limit yourself to two or at most, at most three. Okay, so if I use different design, um, different type, okay, say five, six, seven, come on. It will be distracting and your design will be unappealing okay so um i the first point i have is align elements can you see how oh come on i think i i really can go back to my pixel lab okay i would have shown us used my guide line to show us what i really want to show like what i really want to make you understand here okay so can you see that all my text okay every single thing here have been aligned to the left you know we have basically three types of alignments right or uh, bosni we always say two types okay one of my coach you always say two types center alignment and the edge alignment under the edge alignment we now have the stuff like the top bottom left and right okay so they're always close to the edges right like this is this is an edge my bottom edge left stuff like that okay so always look out for that ensure that your design is always your elements your visual elements are always aligned okay so make sure your text and your other design elements are neatly aligned for a polished appearance this means text images and other design elements should line up with each other did you get that you know back in those days where we used to um where we used to stand in front of the um principal office for my own school i don't know about your own school okay but generally assembly ground so People used to come out, we arrange ourselves in a single file, you know. Those kind of things we will, we will make, even if a stranger or someone just burst into the school, you will know that this school is very well organized, like the school is organized, right? So you, you follow your line, your, your class, according, you arrange yourself, you shall know how those stuff work now. So the same thing happens here. Alright, so ensure that. This is primary one. Okay, let's start primary five because that's the big, <laughs> that's the big elements, right? The big, the element, um, the text with big size, right? So this is a primary five, primary four, primary three, primary plus stuff like that. Ensure that everything is aligned, okay? So that your your design will will be polished. It will look neat. All right. So the fifth point I had, I I have rather is keep it clean, okay? Remove unnecessary clutter and keep your design simple and uncluttered, okay? Removing unnecessary elements and keeping your design clean or uncluttered helps convey your message more clearly, more clearly, okay? So, when there are, there's too much going on in a design, okay, going on in the design can confuse your viewers, alright? It can confuse your viewers, so therefore always aim for a clean and straightforward layout that focuses on the design essentials. Can you see? always aim all right always aim for a clean and straightforward layout your layout try as much as well you know there is there is basically um five kind of layouts okay not like the local one rather we have the t to do, do we also call it template rules right so you have the t1 t2 t3 try as much as possible to have a clean or simple template or um, template rule or say um a sim simple layout okay simple layout try as much as possible to have simply out you know simple is more right simplicity is more we'll come to that don't worry i'll explain that so the next we have is white space is your friend okay white space here doesn't really mean that you have white like that's why i didn't use it on this um i didn't use this background to explain white space i need to understand that white space simply means those empty space white space can also be called negative space right so embrace empty space okay empty space around elements to give your design room to breathe okay let your design breathe i always tell my my guys i always tell my students that let your design breathe okay Tinibu will say let the poor breathe but then coming to design okay um the principle is one of the principles of design right so design will tell you let the design breathe okay <laughs> all right um in the design industry we say let your design breathe or rather okay so can you see that there's space here can you see the space here i can easily read my sixth point which says white space is your friend you get so always try as much as possible to have a white space on your design look at all my designs can you see this is white space this is white space this is white space this is why i can simply add um another object you know this spider-man this is an image of spider-man right i can choose to bring in um a crawling spider 
okay i can choose to bring in um a web okay spider-man shooting webs all around you know those kind of things really portray like it's also um passing the same information because i used um an image of a spider-man right so but then my design will look all distracting and my audience will end up not like you you personally like i'm, I'm referring to you okay you end up not seeing this in time okay so that's not my purpose like that's not the goal i want my information the information i'm passing to go straight okay go straight to my audience no need for distractions all right so we have the seventh point which says limits effects okay try as much as possible to avoid excessive use of effects like shadows gradients and bevels sometimes less is more just like i've said okay so so use these effects apparently and purposely purposefully to enhance your message okay so your shadow i i didn't really use shadow on these designs okay but then try as much as possible to not make your design your shadows on your images to be too much okay <laughs> come on why design effects like shadows and gradients and bevels okay can add depth and dimensions to your design right we all believe we all know that it's crucial not to overdo them okay excessive use of these effects can make your design distracting you get it can make your design distracting and also visually unappealing okay if my shadow is way too much my audience will not really blend with it okay it will it will look too tattered okay like too dirty too distracting and i won't really want to waste my time on that human beings now have a lot to focus on so spending that time trying to trying to str tr struggling to to get the information you're trying to pass because your shadow on your text is too much and it's covering the whole thing which one do you want your audience to see the shadow or the text come on try as much as possible to minimize that it's not every design that requires shadow right can you see that these designs okay yeah i use shadow here okay i i did the shadow myself okay to make it look realistic okay can you see that i i minimized the opacity so well that doesn't really need to 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 show before the i don't really need to make it a hundred like the the opacity to be 100 percent before you can be able to see um that the spider man is really standing on the floor okay so play around the whole thing okay even though we are trying to be realistic around our our designs okay we should try as much as possible to to ensure that we are not overdoing it okay i've seen quite a good number of persons okay as touching beavers when we're trying to create text effects or probably when we are editing our models we increase come on come on limit the effect even after you're done a creating design on pixel app when we take it to our third party app like the lightroom snapseed pixel like that like that like that we go to the sharpening we increase everything who you want impress brother baba calm down let's try as much as possible to make everything look realistic and balanced okay even if it's your face I, I, we, 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 with your face uh, is your face as bright as the way you're increasing it you increase the whole brightness come on come on you want, you want to you want to you want to turn with people by force come on that's how we do it so the eighth point is use high quality images okay if your design involves images ensure that they are high resolution and relevant to your design okay so i i want to create a flyer for a brand that says um if you if you buy our cryptos if you buy crypto from us right um you're going to be happy like because the rates will, will keep increasing stuff like that stuff like that stuff like that okay and you're using a picture of a model who is sad like she's thinking about life to make the whole thing balance now you say that okay um this crypto brand is a nigeria brand so you want to get um a model of of, of a nigerian who is thinking about Sinibu. come on come on look for for a smile like a model who is smiling who is happy let your images let your images sync with what you what you are creating okay you can see that okay why the keko use pictures of spider this is graphic design and it's caught your attention yes it caught your attention that's why you're here now okay <laughs> it's half the purpose right so um try as much as well to use a high quality um image okay so that um it will retain it will catch like it will get the attention of your audience right and also retain the attention if what i'm viewing is less quality like it's pixelated 
okay the, the, the quality is so low come on i was assume that this this is unprofessional like why would i want to waste my time on it so i'll just scroll okay so check spelling and grammar while creating design as someone who is starting out always not so not just someone who is starting out this is something that every designer should always look out for i'll tell you something um some weeks ago while i was designing for a program like a program that's ongoing i've created the live designs um testimony offering welcome to service praise prayer you know all those kind of stuff and then when it goes to message i was like you know i i work with the team so these guys were just typing they just type they just pay attention to the message and then once they type they send to our platform to our group and then i'll pick it from there and then place it on my design okay without going through it can you believe that after the service like the host of by 12 a.m someone had to reach out to me from the um someone reached out to me and then sent me design Be like can you correct this the grammar here is incorrect i was like i didn't save the project so me i cannot do anything again i'm sorry can you see even though these guys the people sent it to the group um they didn't really proofread okay um they didn't really go through it again they have four but then i still the fault is still from me also because i i was trying to to rush the whole stuff so like immediately after the service i'll just leave but then in, in by 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 because i was i was i was trying to rush i didn't really proofread okay or go through um what they sent i had to just create the design like that can you believe that <laughs> It was fruitless okay because what's the point of sending posting things stuff that that's not really correct okay what's the message you're trying to pass like like tell me what's the message you're trying to pass you want to show the picture of the pastor and your background come on come on the most important message under your design is the nugget is the is the caption like is the 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 short um oh, come on the most important stuff on that design eh, is the quotes yeah that's the word is the quote okay so if the quote is incorrect it's grammatically incorrect come on what's the point you wasted your efforts so and i didn't really save the project so i cannot go back and start creating the whole stuff by 12 a.m come on i need to rest okay so can you see if i had spent just one minute and because you know quotes are not really long they're not really that long so if i had spent just one minute and go through the whole thing again I, I I would have easily like we could have easily uh, minimized the error. So yeah, I've taken my lesson. So always proofread your text to avoid typos and um, grammatical errors. You want to see last? Are you ready for the last? Okay, this video is already long. Come on, close to 20 minutes. <laughs> Come on. All right. So yeah, here's the last point. Practice, 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 practice. All right, so practice as much as you can. Okay, the more you practice, the better you will become. Try recreating designs you admire to learn from them. Okay, let me tell you something. I growing up, I I watched the movie like I watched the movie. I don't know about you. <laughs> Come on, everybody should have watched. Like everybody could have seen our uh, Spider Man, like Spider Man movie. Okay, at least once. Okay, so the story of Spider Man tells us a lot. Like. Spider-Man practiced even when after he he got bitten by a spider. Okay, he didn't really start shooting webs even though webs were, were coming out like no man, no man now. Okay, <laughs> webs were coming out, but then he didn't start jumping over story buildings and all. He started by practicing. Okay, he practiced how to control, how to balance on the air and stuff like that before he became he eventually became good, so good at what he what he, he does okay shooting waves and catching the wrong guys okay so yeah practice 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 if you don't ever become perfect even driving tell me even cooking the food you cook you're cooking i i i, I you, you might say that you're a good cook okay you're a good cook but then you didn't really wake up one day and became a good cook you you started from somewhere you started from indomie started from boiling water say come on we all started from somewhere so i'll admonish you to um practice as someone who's starting out practice 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 okay um the normal acronym i'm um, sorry the normal thing people say is practice makes perfect right so don't stop practicing practice keep practicing and don't stop practicing and um finally if you enjoyed these tips follow me for more but this youtube subscribe to this channel don't forget i if you're watching this i don't subscribe okay let me just go back if you like subscribe if you like don't subscribe okay but then i'll see you in my next video bye this is chinemarium uh, come on. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. I love you.